Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here. Welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be talking about Hard West 2, a turn-based tactics game developed by Ice Code Games. The story is set in a supernatural version of the Wild West where Jim Carter and his posse of outlaws are getting ready to rob a train. You were right, boss. They barely have any security. No Things turn bad when the train you're trying to rob turns out to be a train from hell and its conductor, a demon called Mammon, steals your soul. Your main goal moving forward is to reclaim your soul and exert vengeance on this demon. As you play the game, you will gather your old crew and meet a few new characters that will help you along the way. Now it's time to cash in those chips. Hold on! Unlike other turn-based tactics games, in Hardware 2 you don't have a base of operations or a hub where you get to rest or upgrade your gear. Instead, you progress the story by discovering new locations on a small map and if you want to rest you have the option to set up camp. The points of interest are marked with two colors, yellow for main mission locations and green for side missions. The main missions are the ones where you get to fight enemies and use your posse members. Side missions on the other hand are simply fetch quests where there is no combat and there are very little choices to be made based on the relationship status with your companions. You do have a relationship mechanic in this game whereby you get to build loyalty with your companions by talking to them at camp and by valuing their opinions in quest dialogue. On the streets of Mornwood till I joined up with the circus that came through town. That's where you and Castro found me. Oftentimes you have to choose which companion you want to raise your loyalty with in the detriment of the other. Of course I'm right. Reaching the highest level of loyalty will unlock a specific talent for that companion and in some cases will also allow you to use that companion to complete a side mission and get an extra reward. In Hardware 2, you are limited to a party of 4 for every mission you attempt, but you have a choice of 6 characters that can be swapped in and out of the party as you see fit. Stand back. All the characters are unlocked through the main story and you won't lose them for the remainder of the game even if they do die while on a mission. Each character comes with a unique supernatural ability and each of them will have a personal mission where they cannot be swapped out of the party. Who wants to join me in the afterlife? Wanna see a magic trick? In terms of character development, Hardware 2 uses the same system as in the first game, which is the poker hand. Each character can be given up to 5 playing cards which make up that character's poker hand and unlocks several talents for the character. Throughout the game you get to collect 24 playing cards by progressing the main story, but there are also two jokers that can be collected via two specific side missions. The jokers are quite powerful as they allow you to form a five of a kind hand which basically activates all the talents for a given character. Each card also has a unique bonus and since different characters benefit more from different bonuses it makes it interesting if you're trying to min-max. Right. Another cool feature that I really enjoyed in Hard West 2 is the bravado mechanic. What Bravado does, as you can see right here, is it resets your character's basic abilities upon getting a kill, letting you chain kill enemies. It's a freaking awesome mechanic and it makes for some really cool in-game moments. In terms of story development, Hard West 2 is a linear game. As I said before, there are some side missions that get resolved just by talking to people or going from point A to point B on the map, but the main story is the one that will put your party to the test.
You get to find out more about your party members while resting by the fire and asking them about their past. The more you advance in the relationship meter, the more they will tell you. This is unfortunately just an optional activity. I would have liked for the game to give this aspect more depth and give the characters more personality, but Hardwest 2 is not a story-heavy game and the focus is more on the combat side. Something is deeply wrong with you if you think you can just casually ask me about my past. Riding together, even killing together, does not give you that right. Even if I wanted to share my story with you, you could not possibly understand it. Speaking of combat, although I enjoyed every mission and I really liked each of my companions' unique abilities, when it comes to enemies, I was a bit disappointed. There is very little diversity on the enemy front. I'm talking about less than 10 different types of enemies throughout the game, and even with some missions having like a boss enemy, they didn't really feel that different from the normal enemies. I really would have liked to see more diversity on that front. Overall, I would recommend this game to anyone who enjoys team-based tactic games and turn-based combat. The bravado system is great and the supernatural Wild West setting is pretty cool. I also really like the artwork, especially the cutscenes in between important moments of the game. A tunnel? There were no tunnels here on the map. Someone, get away! I can't see it! No, wait! Can you hear that? What the hell is happening? What is this? Because it's a linear story, I don't really see it as having a great deal of replayability, so in my opinion, if you want to give this game a chance, you can try the free demo on Steam if it's still available, or wait until it's on sale and give it a try then. At the time of this recording, the game is 25 euros on Steam, and it took me around 20 hours to finish it. Wild. That's it from me on this one guys, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'll do my best to bring you more of these review videos moving forward. Thank you very much for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. We'll track him down, we'll get back everything he took from us and then we'll send him back to hell.